I lead a ministry called Traffic Free Pomona, and we are ending human trafficking and sexual exploitation in our city and around the world. And we have seen women who have been sexually exploited that are involved in prostitution working right here um, on our church property, you know, walking up and down in front of our church. And so we wanted to do something about that. The first key piece for us is raising awareness because if we can educate people that this is happening and what it looks like, what a potential victim might look like, um, then we believe that we can stop trafficking in its tracks. Um, and so we do that by hosting film screenings, hosting our local law enforcement, FBI and Homeland Security to come and do workshops and trainings, um, and to host events in our worship center. Um, the second piece that's really key is prevention. If we can prevent young girls, particularly in our city, from being exploited and falling into the hands of a trafficker, then we are ending exploitation. So we do that through a few ways. We Twice a month, we spend time with girls who are at risk and um, we bake cupcakes with them once a week we have a Bible study with them um, research shows that women in the sex industry enter prostitution and the adult entertainment industry between the ages of 12 to 14 so that age group is particularly at risk and in addition to that girls that are most vulnerable are those that come from foster homes that don't have a strong family support girls that have run away from home and finally we provide resources to survivors. So when, uh, when a survivor escapes trafficking, they escape with the clothes on their back. They have nothing. And so we want to give them something to start a new life of freedom. And so we call that a freedom bag. Uh, we were contacted by the FBI to provide a freedom bag for a survivor. It was a 17-year-old girl. Um, she had survived what we call commercial sexual exploitation. So she was being trafficked in the sex industry here in the U.S. And the law enforcement officer, the FBI agent um, that was working with her said that he was able to give her the bag um, in front of her family, that he had been able to reunite her actually with her parents. Um, and so she opened up the bag and inside the bag is new clothes and toiletries and all you would need to start your new life of freedom. Um, and there's also a handwritten note by the person um, within our church family who put that bag together. Um, and so he said that when she opened up the note, that note told her, that note said how much God loved her and how loved she was, how valuable, how priceless she was, um, and that God had a special plan for her life. And she was just overwhelmed that she began crying, her family began crying. Um, and he said that was the highlight of his career, um, law enforcement career, is seeing her read that note and begin to experience healing and begin that process of healing.